My beautiful Leos, welcome to your general reading for the month of November with me, Adrian Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. In this reading, we're going to take a look at money, career, and love. And we are going to end off with a direct message from the universe using the Thought Tarot deck. All right. So Leos, those dealing with a Leo, wherever you've got Leo in your chart, welcome to your reading. I would like to apologize that I haven't posted readings in a while. I've been a little bit busy. I needed to take care of some personal business. I have, however, completed my advanced tarot reading course. Take a look at the link in the description. First couple of lessons are free. All right. Let me know what you think. So, Leo, for money, this card popped up. We've got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So, we got to talk about that. Um, Seven of Pentacles in the High Priestess. All right. So, um, I would say definitely money-wise, there is something that we need to talk about here. All right. There's definitely something we need to talk about here. Um, career as well as love. Uh, a few concerns here, all right? Definitely, not going to lie to you, a few concerns here in your reading, Leo. So, starting off there with money, it might be time to take tighter control of the finances, you know? Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not implying that anybody's maybe being... Um, sort of like dishonest or anything like that but what i am seeing though leo is that there's a possibility here that you may have given you know certain people as maybe a certain person or group just a little bit too much free reign you know they didn't need to like report back to you um because i mean you are that beautiful trustworthy you know person and you believe everybody to be the same and it doesn't even you know necessarily mean that maybe this other person is sort of like snitching from you you know, it could just be that maybe, well, since you don't follow up that much, they just became a little bit laxidaisy, all right? Um, Career-wise, I feel that you want to you wanna sort of set bigger goals here for yourself, okay? I feel that you want to set bigger goals here for yourself, set higher goals for yourself, set bigger goals for your career. So um, I feel that you've got something, you've got something beautiful going on here, whether it's something that's already going or whether it's a... Uh, you know, something that you think of, of, of having going, that you're thinking of initiating, whatever it is. You have done beautiful um, foundational work here, Leo. You've set everything up for the way that, you know, that it needs to be. But now, I feel that it's time for that next level. It's, it's definitely time for that next level. It's definitely time to step up the game. Okay. Definitely time to, um, to step up the game, the beautiful Leos. And then for love... I feel that with love, you sort of, you want to take a little bit of a chill pull. It's almost like everything is for you, Leo, a little bit here in November. You know, just just take it easy. Take it a little bit breezy. You know, don't go too much over the top, okay? Um, there, there, there's something that, that's busy happening here. It's not fully coming through yet for me. So, you know, it's still within the spiritual realm. And if, if something doesn't come through, then it just simply means that it's not time for it to come through yet at the time and point or point in time, you know? So don't, no need to break your head over that. But there's great potential here for love, but something is blocking it. We're going to see when we clarify what is going on over here. It's, it's, it's almost like it's almost like you need to rein things in a little bit, Leo, and allow yourself to breathe and allow Source to, 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 to show you, you know, what is a better next step. So it's, it's almost like you want to draw nearer to Source there for a little bit, for a while there. Okay. Let's clarify. We're going to start off by clarifying money, that Queen of Pentacles in reverse, my beautiful, beautiful Leo. And then I would love to know where in the world we are connecting from. I am in beautiful, beautiful Cape Town in South Africa, and I would love to know where in the world we are connecting from. So let me know in the comments. All right. Let's see what we've got here for money for you, my beautiful Leos. What have we got for Leos for money? Money, 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 money. All right, so you've got the Hanged Man, the Star, and the Seven of Swords. All right, so with money as well, um, don't make any rash decisions. That is a big thing that's coming through here for you. All right, do not make any rash decisions, my beautiful, beautiful Leos. Um, and, and the way that you will know that maybe something is not for you is if they come, it's a grand opportunity that comes about and said, so, but you must do it now, you must invest now, you must commit now. I'm going to recommend for you that you say, you know what, maybe this is not for me, maybe I should pass up on this one. 
okay? Because why are you being pushed? And what I can tell you with money is, if you take that approach of rather taking a bit of a rest instead of taking a push, you might actually have a lot of abundance coming your way, okay? There might be beautiful abundance that's coming your way. There might be great prosperity, great flow that's coming your way, great opportunities. And it almost seems like there might be someone or a group, but I get someone very specific and maybe like a more male figure. I see, now this is a general reading, but I see like a, I don't even know if I should say older, but like more mature, say around 55, 56 year old, sort of like male energy, Caucasian energy, brownish sort of hair, beard. Um, that's the image that I get. <coughs> Sorry. There is somehow maybe waiting to see if you're just going to jump on the next thing. So it seems like you're being a little bit tested here. So don't just jump on the first card that comes your way. Um, and yeah, I can see that maybe in the past you would have been like, oh, well, I'll just, if I go for that, you know, this is going to work, but it's fine. I can cut that loss. There, there's no need to cut any losses here for you. All right. Money-wise, this is a space of getting in, not not necessarily giving up. Okay. Career. Seven of Pentacles, my beautiful, beautiful Leos. What do we have for Leo for career, please? Okay, two cards just popped around. Um, and they are the Eight of Cups, the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups actually came first. The Eight of Cups and the Four of Cups. All right. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So, beautiful soul family connection. The right people coming to you at the right time. Okay, all you really need to do is wait. That's all you really need to do. All right, all you really need to do, my beautiful Leos, is wait. There is nothing else that you particularly need to do. Um, I can see you heading in a very positive direction with your career. Definitely things paying off for you. Um, there is a beautiful um, sort of energy that's coming in here. So it might be a monetary investment. Uh, it might be a person that is, there's some sort of something coming in here, some sort of investment, some sort of energy that's coming in, Leo, for your career that is just beautiful. Changes the whole game for you, okay? So definitely don't jump for whatever that sort of like almost threatening energy is, like you must take this now or else, all right? Let's look for love, so clarifying the High Priestess. You've got the Knight of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Four of Swords, yeah. You are ready for a proper, decent connection. Um, someone that really honors your word, that honors your value. Somebody's, somebody's noticing you here. They're noticing you and they want to be with you. All right? They're noticing you and they want to be with you. That is a fact. And this is a good connection. Be open to new, be open to more, be open to next level because it's definitely available to you, Leo, in the most beautiful, beautiful ways. And if you're open to that, Place your hand on your heart. Take a nice deep breath and say yes to it. All right? If you go ahead and like the video, I'm really going to appreciate it. Let's see, Leo, what the universe has got to say for you from the Thought Tarot deck. And we've got the Prince of Wands. Uh, sorry, the Prince of Swords. My apologies. I always like the color in this card. It's so beautiful. All right? Um, the universe is almost saying to you at the moment, Leo... What do you really, really want? Whatever you place your mind on is what's going to happen for you. So that is really, really great. But then also make sure that you focus on what you do want and that you don't run away and don't focus on what you don't want and try not to wallow in sort of like anger and fear and those sort of things because then that attracts those things into your life. Okay. I hope that that helps, my beautiful Leo. I wish you the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful November of your entire life. Might be the most beautiful month. And it might be filled with absolutely fantastic reasons to smile. I'll see you next time. Namaste. Love and light.